The zigzag effect is one of the nicest and fun to work with effects. It gives you instant and practically ready to use results. It's particularly useful when you want to create waves and you don't want to or don't know how to use the pen tool for that. Let's take a look at how to work with this effect. If you've seen my most wanted flat design techniques course, you might be familiar with this flat design island. In the course, we are creating the C wave with the help of the pen tool and blend tool. But in this video, you will learn an alternative way of creating this wave using the zigzag effect. So let's apply the effect to a simple straight line. So grab the line segment tool from the tools panel and you can always press the backslash key on your keyboard. Now create a line that is stretching from one side of the ellipse to another. You can give it a plain black stroke and no fill. Now head over to the zigzag effect that is the last one in the distort and transform group. Turn the preview on and let's explore the options we have here. The size, which can be either absolute or relative, will control the size of the hills and valleys. Ridges per segment will add or remove the ways from the line. But in order for our wave to look like a real, well, wave, we need to select smooth, not corner. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the other options so the C wave looks the way it's supposed to. The wave might require some tweaking and adjusting, so if that's the case, just activate the effect from the appearance panel and make your adjustments from there. In order to finish the wave shape, we need to expand its appearance, so it's no longer a dynamic effect, but a simple shape. So I'll head over to the object menu and choose Expand Appearance. Now I'll make this a closed shape simply by joining the left and right endpoints using the Ctrl plus J command, which is the same as going to the Object menu, Path, and choosing Join. All that's left is to give the shape a nice blue fill, and you can sample it from the water shape below. And uh, you might have to reposition the wave just a bit to get everything aligned nicely. And there you go. This is how you can use the zigzag effect to create a wave shape without the pen tool. Next, we will take a look at how to use the path effects.